Hey there, welcome back to another exciting episode of Chess Games. In today's video, we have an amazing game lined up for you that is sure to keep you on the edge of your seat. Today, we will be providing commentary for this exciting chess game. Playing as white, we have Ikwin underscore Nazir, and as black, we have Yashwanth Balakola on chess.com. At move 1, white opens with e4, followed by black's e6. This is the French defense opening. At move 2, white responds with d4, and black chooses to counter-attack with e5, closing the center of the board. At move 3, white pushes d5, opening up the center once again. The French defense is a popular opening for black and is characterized by the moves 1, e4, e6. The normal variation begins with the move 2, d4, which is the most common and aggressive response to the French defense. White aims to control the center of the board with the pawn on d4, while black prepares to counter-attack the pawn chain with moves like d5 and c5. The normal variation can lead to a variety of complex positions, with both sides having potential pawn breaks and piece maneuvers. Black may try to exchange their light squared bishop for white's knight on f3, as that knight is often crucial to white's attacking plans. Meanwhile, White may try to create a pawn wedge with c3 and d4, which can restrict black's pieces and give white more space to operate. Overall, the French defense normal variation is a solid and reliable opening for black, but requires careful play to avoid potential traps and pitfalls. It can lead to dynamic and tactical games, and is a great choice for players who enjoy positional play and strategic planning. Continue to the game, at move 6, black moves their knight back to na5, which is an odd move as it does not contribute to the development of their pieces. White then chooses to continue with nc3, attacking the misplaced knight on a5. At move 8, white castles kingside, a very important move in chess as it puts the king in a safe position and brings the rook into the game. Black responds with f5, trying to counter-attack on the kingside. However, this move weakens their pawn structure and leaves their king vulnerable. At move 10, white takes advantage of black's weak pawn structure and attacks with nx e5, threatening the f7 square. Black tries to defend with g6, but white responds with nx e5, attacking the queen. At move 12, white sacrifices their bishop with bx g4, forcing black to take back with the pawn and further weakening their pawn structure. At move 13, white threatens checkmate with qf3, and black tries to defend with ne7. However, white responds with the brilliant move qf7, delivering a checkmate. In this game, we can learn the importance of proper development and control of the center. Black made some questionable moves, like pushing their pawns too far and not developing their pieces efficiently, which allowed white to take control of the center and launch a successful attack. Additionally, White was able to exploit Black's weaknesses and capitalize on their mistakes, ultimately resulting in a checkmate. Therefore, the lesson to be learned here is that careful and strategic planning, efficient piece development, and control of the center are crucial elements for success in chess. In conclusion, White played a very aggressive and strategic game, taking advantage of Black's mistakes and weak pawn structure. They successfully employed the French defense against the counter-attack of Black's f5 and emerged as the winner with a checkmate. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching until the end. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting chess games in the future.